This is a story about a man named Zach Wilson. He is a college student who lives alone. Ever since he moved here, he uses toothpaste, the same brand and the same flavor, and he is strict with the length of the toothpaste on his toothbrush. All right, uh, Molly. Molly, okay. Carmen? Uh-huh. Jill? Zach is a student at the School of Communication. Sandra? However, he does not communicate okay. much with others. The class of this semester is almost over. Gee. Zach's professor is taking yep. attendance at the front. He can remember every student Zach? in the class except for Zach. Zach. Oh. Zach was... Beyond that, Zach lived a life of solitude. Zach would eat alone. And he would go home alone. Zach hates his miserable life inside his mind, although he acts like he is okay with it. What he wants now is to graduate, to end his miserable college life, and to leave this despairing place. But he does not know that his life is about to change. What? No! If one had asked Zach, he would have said that this is the most terrible morning he had ever had because he forgets to buy a new toothpaste and he... And he is confused about it. Then Zach notices that someone is speaking. Who just said Zach is, notices someone is speaking? Zach is still thinking about the madness in the morning. However, he does not realize something is yet to come. No, I mean. Professor is taking attendance, and our Zach Cynthia. sits at the back of the classroom, looking like he saw a ghost. Jean. Stop it. Stop it. Shut up! Excuse me? What's the matter there, uh, Luke? I got it. Are we, are we filming a project or conducting a blind research right now? What? Yeah. I figured it out. I've been following Everyone gets confused by Zach. However, Hello? Zach knows nothing about what is happening and what will happen next. Like how he cannot graduate and he still needs to spend three more years in college. What? Did you just say that I can't graduate college? Why? Hello? I think I know why. So, you're here because you're hearing voices. I think it might be auditory hallucinations. She's not speaking to me. She's like, she's doing a narrative. And it's like I'm a character in her story. Okay, so she's... Okay. <laughs> I understand that, but clearly you have some form of auditory hallucinations. And I actually think the cause might be depression. This woman, these voices, she said you're not allowed to graduate? Yes. You see, this is the crux of the problem. You worry so much about graduating. You need a diversion, a distraction, like music. And lucky for you, I know how to play the piano.
just do what I can do. On this particular morning, Zach is brushing his teeth with his favorite toothpaste. He does not graduate if you are curious. What's more, he needs three more years to complete his study. Good morning. Thanks for this lady, Zach is now a piano major student. In all the time of his solitary life, he never felt how wonderful his college life is. This is the end of our story about a man named Zach Wilson.